you as we go into your word today. We ask, O oh Lord, that you bring counsel, understanding to us, and give us clear understanding of your perfect will as we study. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. All right, so we're studying today and um, we'll continue the, the study of virtues. We have looked at the character virtues, power virtues. Today we are looking at um, wisdom virtues. All right, the virtues that causes or that brings forth wisdom in our lives. All right, let's read the text scriptures. For Proverbs in chapter number six. Verse 6 to 8, it's an advice to the sluggard. It said, go to the ant, thou sluggard, consider our ways and be wise, which having no guide, overseer, or ruler, provided, provided a meat in the summer and gathereth a, so, a food in the house. God is saying it's time to learn. All right? Ecclesiastes in chapter 3, verse 7. A time to rend, a time to sow, a time to keep silence, and a time to speak. There's time for everything. We must just learn to do the right things at the right times so we can walk in the glory of God. Now, I read the devotional. King Solomon advised a lazy man to go to the ant, the ant and learn some wisdom maybe it will help him or her to understand how to work and use every opportunity of every opportunity season to do the needful to get things done the king was trying to inform the lazy man that there are some virtues that are considered the virtues of wisdom there's wisdom itself, but there are virtues that bring more wisdom to you, bring more wisdom to you. And you need to exercise yourself in those virtues. All right. So there are virtues. They make the foolish move from foolishness to wisdom and the wise to be wiser. These virtues make the foolish to become wise and the wise to be wiser. The first of the virtues of wisdom is learning 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 is very important we have to keep learning and you must be willing to learn from everybody learn from the big learn from the small learn from the great learn from the low you know never think you know everything no you don't some people know some things you don't know and then never think somebody that's lower that you cannot teach you if you are not married and you don't have grown-up children, you might still be thinking that. But if you have grown-up children, you know by now that um, uh, you have to start learning even from your children. All right? Because it's important. Life is about learning. Life is about learning. We have to keep learning. We have to keep learning. Learning is very essential. You know, um, I will not forget the story we are told in one of our architectural classes of how the building of elevators outside the building, you know, was invented or came into being. It was actually an idea from a cleaner. It will tell our traffic, you know, and his elevator was not able to capture the traffic efficiently, you know. So people had to wait and wait on floors before they able to get on the elevator or, uh, and, and move to the uh, ground floor or the reception, you know. So they decided to put in a second elevator, probably a bigger one. I mean, that wasn't the part of the details, but probably. You know, so they had to break all the floors. I can't remember how many floors the hotel has, but it's many, many floors. So they had to break it through each floor to create that lift or elevator tunnel in which the elevator will be moving up and down the floors. So while they were breaking the first floor, and they were, they were on the ground floor and they were breaking the floor floor. You know, the cleaners had to be cleaning around the clock. So one of the cleaners in a complaining mode 
said, I don't even know why they are doing this. They're just giving us more work. The architect happened to be there at that time. And the architect turned to him and said, what are you saying? Because you guys are just keep breaking things and we have to keep cleaning and keep cleaning. He said, you thank God that we are allowing you, we are allowing the hotel to run while we are doing this. Otherwise, we'll have requested the hotel to shut down and you will have a job. So you should thank God you have a job. And the guy grudgingly just said, I don't even know why you have to put this elevator inside. Why don't you just put it outside? And for the first time, the architect you know, woke up to reality that, what? We can put it outside. Attach it to one of the walls outside. So people enter it from inside by that wall. And it's outside. It goes, takes you to the floor, stops, and you, you, you walk in. And that was the first elevator that was going to be exterior. So they apply that wisdom of a cleaner. Now, you see, the lesson in that story is very, very powerful. And that is that wisdom can come from even the place you least expected. My dad told us the story of some um, um, white government people who are having um, a service and something by a particular river. And a madman suddenly showed up and said, if only you will fear God the way you fear death. And you will love God the way you love money. All your problems will be solved and your life will be easier. And the madman left. Wisdom coming from a madman. If only you fear God the way you fear death. And you love God the way you love money. You know, that's very deep. And in fact, when my father said it, that was the first time I'm seeing that combination. If only you fear God the way you fear death. And love God the way you love money. So wisdom can come from anywhere. You know, learning is very important. Observe to learn. Keep watching so you can learn. Don't just watch to watch. Don't just watch to look for faults. Don't just watch to complain. Watch to learn. Observe to learn. Listen to learn. When somebody is talking, listen to learn. Don't listen to find points you can use to argue. Listen to learn something. That is good listening. Some people don't listen. They have bad listening uh, uh, position of mind. You understand? Every time they are listening, they are listening to correct. They are listening to, crit to criticize. They are listening to, to try and argue and prove their own point. Listen to understand. Listen to learn. Read also to learn. Don't just read for reading sake. A book has been given to you by somebody that you feel is lower than you. Don't read the book to criticize or to point out its flaws and point out, okay, you tried here, but this one is not good at all. Read to learn first. Then while you are doing that, you can be helping it correct some things. But read to learn too. Otherwise, you find out that somebody has some wisdom and you are not receiving it. Why? Because you feel the person is lower than you. Many are not doing that and they are struggling because of it, especially if they have set themselves into a default of never learning. Some people, their default is never learning. So when they are reading, they are not learning. When they are listening, they are not learning. You understand? When they are observing, they are not learning anything. They just assume they, are, they have known everything. My mentor will always say, observe, observe. It's by observing that you see things. All right? Many are not doing this. And that's why they are, they are put themselves in the default of never learning. They will argue rather than learn. Learning belongs to the wise. Refusing knowledge is the way of foolish. It's the way of the foolish. It's the way of the foolish. Refusing knowledge is the way of the foolish. Learning is the way of the wise. This is the major virtue of wisdom. This is the major virtue of wisdom. Learning. Learn by reading. Learn by re listening. Learn by observing. Learn. Keep learning. Other virtues of wisdom are silence, thoughtfulness, and reflection. These all work together. Some silence at some point in the day helps thoughtfulness and reflection to happen. When this happens, we are able to apply learnings to situations and are able to resolve and fix them effectively. You know, some people don't ever keep quiet to even think so even if they are learning things, they are not able to apply them because they are not even thinking. Okay, this situation is going on. How do we go about it? What do we do? 
and the learning you have received will begin to now come into play. Okay, we need to do like this. Okay, we need to do like this. We need to do like this. Before you know it, you have answers. Anyone that is that, that receives silence is not wise and might be carrying some serious guilt that cries out against him or her <laughs> in their conscience. And uh, they want to silence it by just getting busy, getting busy, getting busy, getting busy. Instead of resisting silence, it's better to run to God and get forgiveness. It's better to run to God and have peace, make peace with your maker. Thinking and reflecting helps apply learnings for wise actions and good results. Thinking and reflecting helps us to apply the learnings for right and wise actions and for good results. He said, you will make your way prosperous when you meditate. Then you will have good success. That's the result. But you have to make your way prosperous by taking right actions. Then you will have good success. That's the promise of the Father. And it's your portion today in the name of Jesus. Can you pray this and say, Father, help me Help me to keep the virtues of wisdom functional in my life in the name of Jesus. Pray that to the Holy Ghost. I receive grace to make the virtues of wisdom functional in my life. I receive your grace for that. 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 I receive your In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. You're going to pray the second prayer. Say, Father. I receive the help of the Holy Spirit in the application of all good learnings to attend to all issues of life in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray that also in the Holy Ghost. I receive, Lord Almighty, the grace of impartation, Lord Almighty, for good learning, to apply good learning in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Glory to God. We'll go straight into our confession. Remember the things you say, you know, determines what you experience tomorrow. You must make sure you keep saying the right things. You must. It's mandatory. You must keep saying the right things. You must keep saying the right things. So say in the name of Jesus. I am a new creation <clears throat> in Christ Jesus. The whole things have passed away. All things are new. I'm a brand new person, brand new being. I've been washed with the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost. Therefore, I declare that my body, my organs and systems, bones and cells, genes and DNA cannot be corrupted, deformed or defiled by any force in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I declare the blood of Jesus flows in me. I have a new lineage, the blood of Christ. I have been cut off the diseases and negative experience of the old bloodline. In the name of Jesus, I walk in abundance. I walk in glory. In the name of Jesus, the covenant in the blood of Jesus is the only covenant that speaks in my life. I am the blessed of the Lord. My blessing cannot be reversed. I have the power to get wealth in the name of Jesus. And money follows me and serves me as my slave. I am blessed with abundance of it. Yes, the best among men walk with me and for me in the name of Jesus. I'm blessed going out. I'm blessed coming in. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare I'm blessed with land, properties, yes, and all means of transportation as a seed of Abraham. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that by the stripes of Jesus, I have been healed. The Lord has restored all part of me. In the name of Jesus, I declare. I walk in abundance of health in Jesus' mighty name. 
the Lord surrounds me with favor as a shield. Everywhere I go, I'm highly favored, highly favored. Men work for me, men help me, support and assist me. In the name of Jesus, I declare, in the name of Jesus Christ, I am all that am I. We dwell in God's secret place, under God's shadow. No evil can befall us. No plague can come near our dwelling. In the name of Jesus, we live in abundance. Yes, with long life, the Lord has satisfied us. In the name of Jesus Christ, we live long to declare the glory of God in the land of the living. In the name of Jesus, I declare I am head and never tail. I am from above, so I'm above all. In the name of Jesus Christ, I have the mind of Christ. I have the wisdom of Christ. I have the excellence of Christ. I have the intelligence of Christ. I operate by this intelligence. In the name of Jesus, I declare, in the name of Jesus, my home is God's habitation and heaven on earth. I and my spouse, we are one as the Father and the Son are one. In the name of Jesus, our children are taught of the Lord. Great is their peace. In the name of Jesus, yes, they walk in glory, they walk in wisdom, they walk in excellence. In the name of Jesus, they are mighty on the earth. In the name of Jesus, I am God's chosen. I am God's beloved. And because he loves me, I am victorious today. I am triumphant today. I overcome all today. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. In the name of Jesus, I have overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word like testimony. In the name of Jesus, I declare the spirit power and anointing of the move of God is upon me. So I manifest the fullness of Christ's character, thinking what Jesus would think, saying what Jesus would say, and doing what Jesus would do in all situations. I manifest the fullness of Christ's power. I lay hands on the sick, they will cover. In the name of Jesus, I cast out devils. I do the works of Jesus and greater works. I manifest the fullness of God's power. I manifest the fullness of Christ's wisdom. I know what to do in all situations. Everywhere I'm engaged, I apply the wisdom of God. I do exploit. I create solutions. I cause advancement. In the name of Jesus, I manifest the fullness of Christ's presence. Everywhere I am, the presence of God soaks the place. People come to Christ. Still sick are healed. Oppression stops. Yokes are broken. Demons are fled. The powers of hell have been seized. And the glory of God has covered the earth as waters cover the sea. In Jesus' name. Speak in tongues for some few minutes. A papu kuda rianda. Ozoko papu skufi aprianda. Arika papu skufi amele skutushka. Zandaska papu kapu kutufle bikabata. In Jesus' name.